Is your wardrobe ready for the fall? If not, stick around because I have everything that you need to update your wardrobe as well as fall trends coming up. Hey y'all, thank you so much for joining me today. I'm Christina Langridge, founder of Christina Langridge Personal Styling. Welcome to my channel. I'm so excited that you're taking time out to hang out with me today. So today is our Fashion Monday. Today we're talking about everything that you need to update your wardrobe for the fall. So let's get into it. family realtor in the Somerville, Charleston area and today is another wonderful day of CNC Fashion Monday and of course I have Miss Christina. How are you today Christina? I'm doing good. How are you doing? I'm wonderful. So today good. we're talking about the upgrades or the updates that we need for fall. It is exciting. It's starting to get a little cooler down here. I'm sure in the Bay, it's getting cooler as well for you, Christina. It's hit or miss. It's smoky, so it's hard to tell right now. <laughs> okay, okay. So. so tell us a little bit about what we need to be looking forward to, what we need to be changing in our wardrobes for this fall. Okay, well, yeah, fall, so it is getting cooler, so you're gonna wanna swap out some things and maybe transition from your summer wear into your um, winter wear, but you have that time in between where it could be warm, it could go cold, so, you know, you just wanna have some things, and just make sure your things are in, like, in good standing still, so your basics, you wanna make sure your t-shirts still look good, they're not peeling, you wanna make sure they fit your body still, um, you wanna have short sleeves and long sleeves, because it's that time again where everything's transitioning, um, you wanna make sure your jeans still fit you and are, like, you know, <laughs> looking good. So you want to have your dark wash jeans. It's not really the time for your lighter wash jeans. Um, and boots, you want to have some boots on hand. So um, booties are great. Um, regular boots. So booties, just a tip, if you're petite and your booty has a gap in it, it's just gonna, it's not gonna look good. So you want to make sure that your booty actually fits to your leg to make you look, your leg look longer, make you look a little taller. And the same, you don't want to wear like a mid-calf boot unless you have a, t a tight on uh, with a skirt because then you're going to look like you're cut up and your legs are going to look even shorter. So that's just a tip if you're petite. Um, and then if you're petite as well, you want to make sure you wear a heel so you're a little bit taller. And also, you want some height when you're petite, right? Yes. Right here. Yeah. <laughs> and you don't want to wear like a square toe. You want to wear like a pointy toe or a rounded toe to really elongate your leg. If you're a plus though, you can have a gap because that's going to give you a little leeway if you have a larger calf or something. And um, regular boots. So a plus size can wear a mid calf boot. They can wear an ankle booty. They can wear me over the knee. So if you're short and wearing over a knee, just make sure they're the same color as your pants. So if you're wearing like a brown pant, you want to make sure your, your boots are brown or if your boots are black, you want to make sure you have like black jeans on, you know, make your legs look longer. So also rain boots are good to have on hand because that rain is going to come and it affects everybody. Um, flats and textures. So um, different materials would be like a velvet or something softer or a print. So animal prints, camo prints, all of those are totally in right now. Um, sneakers, leather sneakers, because those will last with the rain and the weather change. Um, suede are great because they're lighter, but again, you don't want them getting wet and you want to treat them as well. Uh, camo, again, like I said, I bought a pair from the Nordstrom University so that I love. They're like a sneaker booty and I'll, I'll link it below, but it's been amazing. I'll also link some boots for petites as well. And then, like I said, jeans, you just want to make sure they fit. You want to make sure the rise is nice and good. You want to make sure they're a dark wash. Also chunky uh, sweaters because it's getting chillier. So mm -hmm. yeah, yeah. And cardigans are always really fun to wear, nice and cozy. You can just throw them over your jeans and a t-shirt and it kind of dresses up a look. You can throw them on for a Zoom call and kind of look a little more fit together as well. Um, and then foundation pieces we talked about, t-shirts and that kind of a thing. Or a neutral handbag in brown or black to kind of go with everything that you have. And also a classic coat, like a trench, a pea coat, a shearing coat, something to keep you warm. And then if you want to incorporate some trends, there's metallics um, that you should think of as a neutral. It'll go with everything, basically. Um, sequins and silk, but that's as we move towards like the winter and holiday season. Argyle, so you know, you think men's wear Argyle socks and that kind of thing, but more like prints and sweaters. Uh, capes and ponchos are also coming back, so if you don't have like a cool coat that you, like a classic coat, but you wanted something to have fun, a cape or a poncho is always good. And also plaid, fringe, ruffles, everything kind of goes this, this fall, so. Don't spend too much on trends though, yeah. Oh wow, I can't wait. Anything else that we need to know as far as like 
jewelry or anything like that that we should be um, using? It's always, it's always good to have classic jewelry, uh, classic hoops, you know, in gold and silver, studs and gold and silver. Those will go with everything and they transition well through every season. So, awesome. um, all right, Christina. Yeah. So, if anybody has any questions for you, how can they reach you? Uh, they can reach me on my website, christinalanguage.com. All my contact information is there. Um, you can email me at, at info at christinalanguage.com, um, on Facebook at Christina Language Personal Styling, and Instagram at Christina underscore language. Wonderful. Well, thank you so much, Christina, for taking time of your day. It is Monday, so I bet you're super busy this week. But thank you so much, everybody. If you have any questions for Christina, please reach out to her. You can always reach out to me and I'll be delighted to connect you. My phone number is 843-900-4449. Or you can find me on social media at Low Country Home Sales. See you next week. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye. Thanks so much for watching. I hope you found that conversation helpful. If you like this video and found value in it, go ahead and hit that like button. And if you're new, consider subscribing. I'd love to have you. I'll be here every Monday for the month of September for CNC Fashion Mondays. I hope you have a wonderful day and I'll see you in the next video.